I assumed that this Legend 900 would be one of the best bang for buck Gen 4 NVMEs you could possibly hope to buy. And I was right. Good afternoon, morning and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm recently 4 piece warranty or walkie triple XL. We have the Legend 900. I wish it was 9001, so we'd be over 9000. Lame dad jokes aside, the package contents and the effectiveness of such a cheap and cheerful NVMe is cannot be understated. This for gamers, especially because of its read cycles being as strong as they are, should be right up your alley. And the price points of these are exceptionally good over at Uncle Etech. So without further ado, let's go through what's in the box. So you obviously get a box and inside of that box, you'll find an NVMe with a separately assigned heatsink. It's not hard attached to the device, but when it is attached, then it does look quite nice and sleek. So if you've got a heatsink cooler on your motherboard, for instance, for the NVMe slot, then you're probably going to want to use that direct contact onto the memory chips of this device. But to test it with the included heatsink, because I mean, we know that it's probably going to perform as well, if not better, with a massive heatsink attached to it, which is generally the idea of why you have those heat sinks, we already know that that's going to give it better than out of box performance compared to this very nice slim little one millimeter piece of aluminium that once attached over here, as I say, it does look really, really nice. I couldn't quite capture on camera because it's very, very, very small. It's about like 0.1 of a millimeter shy of it touching the actual controller at the front over here. You can smoosh it into it. Uh, so just to, when you do apply it, just give it a little extra force around the front over here just to make sure that it then touches the controller because the controller is like ever so slightly it's like 0.3 of a millimeter um, shorter than the memory chips and stuff on the back but then once attached it does look really really nice and throwing it into the slot top slot on a z690 torpedo is going to be our test area because that is full gen 4 speed capable so what about those tests well first we tested mt versus its own brethren actually the 1tb data xpg a data at least xpg uh, 1tb drive which is our baseline for gen 4 testing because that's been pretty much as well the best bang for buck nvme that i've used to date and the read cycles are very comparable but the write cycles are where that more premium, you know, XPG-ness is coming from. And that then does lend itself to being a better, say, media drive or something to that effect, or if you want to use it for work and for doing video recording and such. But for a lot of gamers, uh, we don't use write cycles a lot, except when we're saving or updating games. Otherwise, it's pretty much all read cycles. And to that end, this 2TB gives better performance than the 1TB. It could literally just be down to how many IOPS are present on this drive. It just being bigger, having more space, meaning it's got more IOPS that can operate simultaneously compared to a 1TB drive. But it's very, very good on those read cycles. Now, we also need to test it at over 50% because a lot of drives actually kind of have like heart attacks when you do fill them over 50%. So if we compare those two to one another, you do see it slowing down slightly on the Legend 900, but not to a factor where it's going to be completely useless. I did do some sustained transfer tests and it does run out of cache and write buffer as well, which is kind of normal with these, but not to the extent that I've seen on some other drives where they go from like 2000 to 200 this at least was you know more than 10 percent still of the read and write cycle on average so it's still pretty good overall and i'll show you some anomalous data where uh, before a restart after filling up the drive you can see that it wasn't giving anything near what it should do in performance and it's just a testament to how poor the windows caching system is if anything so legend 900 is a good it presents as being damn good out of box for what you get and for what you pay and the warranty, et cetera, et cetera. And it's a decent brand in a data. In general, I want to give this a solid 10 out of 10. There's because of the value. The value just pushes it up into a segment where it really has no business being. Most of the other drives on competitors are only Gen 3. So if you're going to be doing gaming, which is a lot of large data core files like textures, etc., your load times are going to be very, very nice. And your Windows boot up time is also going to be really, really nice on this. And that's generally what we want in a life cycle, like a lifestyle day-to-day -day kind of function as gamers, don't we? 
So I don't think it's going to be the most amazing for doing media and content and writing big files like big PSDs and that sort of stuff to it. You know, your After Effects and your big Photoshop files and vectors and stuff like that. I would say get the more premium drive. You're going to have a generally better experience off of that video editing, 4K, etc. It's still going to do the job. And it's a lot of storage for the amount of money that you're paying as well. It's 2 TV after all. Anywho, that is all I have for you on the Data Legend 100. If you have enjoyed this review, please leave us up with a like and subscribe. And I will see you on the flip side.